Who is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between Uganda and Kenya? In today's video, we shall compare Uganda and Kenya to see who is doing well in trying to develop the country with mega ongoing or completed projects. We shall look at the ongoing or completed projects in both countries, and, at the end of this video, we will determine which country is doing a better job. If you are ready, please subscribe to my channel right now and let's get started. Round 1. Let's start with Uganda. Number 7. East African Crude Oil Pipeline EACOP. A brand new pipeline called the EACOP will carry oil from Uganda to Kenya's coast. The pipeline will be 48 inches in diameter and 1,443 kilometers long. It is anticipated that the EACOP will cost $3.5 billion to complete in 2027. The Ugandan economy will benefit greatly from the EACOP. It will increase the nation's energy security, bring in money from oil exports, and create jobs. Number 6. Kampala Jinja Expressway This is a brand new expressway that will link Jinja and Kampala. The expressway, which will have four lanes, is 60 kilometers long. It is anticipated that the Kampala Jinja Expressway will cost $1.5 billion to build and be finished in 2026. The economy of Uganda will benefit greatly from the Kampala Jinja Expressway. It will improve trade with Jinja, lower transportation costs, and generate employment. Number 5. Kampala Metropolitan Bus Rapid Transit BRT System This new BRT system will be put into place in Kampala. It will have 100 stations, 1,000 buses, and 80 kilometers of designated bus lanes. The $1 billion Kampala BRT system is anticipated to be finished in 2027. The Ugandan economy will benefit greatly from the Kampala BRT system. It will lessen city traffic congestion, enhance air quality, and generate employment. Number 4. Equator Transmission Line A new 400 kV transmission line will be constructed to link Kenya and Uganda. It is anticipated that the Equator Transmission Line will cost $500 million to build and be finished in 2025. The Ugandan economy will benefit greatly from the Equator Transmission Line. It will boost the nation's electricity supply, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. Number 3. Kampala Entebbe Expressway This is a brand new expressway that will link Entebbe and Kampala. A four-lane expressway, measuring 50 kilometers, will be constructed. It is anticipated that the Kampala Entebbe Expressway will cost $1 billion to build and be finished in 2027. The economy of Uganda will benefit greatly from the Kampala Entebbe Expressway. It will improve trade with Entebbe, lower transportation costs, and generate employment. Number 2. Ugandan Railway Network Modernization The goal of this project is to update the Ugandan railway system. It will involve constructing new railway lines, rehabilitating the current ones, and buying new rolling stock. The modernization of the Ugandan railway network is anticipated to cost $2 billion and be finished in 2030. The modernization of the Ugandan railway network will significantly strengthen the country's economy. It will boost the nation's transportation infrastructure, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. Number 1. Ugandan Civil Aviation Authority CAA, Master Plan This is a plan to develop the Ugandan civil aviation sector. It will include expanding the country's airports, upgrading air traffic control systems, and training more aviation personnel. The Ugandan CAA Master Plan is expected to cost $1 billion and be completed in 2030. The Ugandan CAA Master Plan will be a major boost for the Ugandan economy. It will improve the country's air transportation system, create jobs, and attract foreign investment. Round 2. Let's take a look at Kenya. Number 8. Nairobi Expressway A brand new expressway, the Nairobi Expressway, will link Mombasa and Nairobi. The 47 km long expressway will have six lanes when finished. In 2025, the Nairobi Expressway is anticipated to cost $3.2 billion and be finished. The Nairobi Expressway will have a significant positive impact on Kenya's economy. It will improve trade with Uganda, lower transportation costs, and generate employment. Number 7. Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway SDR. A brand new railroad line links Mombasa and Nairobi known as the Mombasa Nairobi SDR. The 485 km long railway line will be constructed using standard gauge 1435 mm. In 2023, 
The Mombasa Nairobi SDR is anticipated to cost $3.8 billion and be finished. The Mombasa Nairobi SDR has significantly improved Kenya's economy. It has lowered transportation costs, enhanced trade with Uganda, and generated employment. Number 6. Mombasa Nairobi Expressway Phase 2. This is the second stage of the project for the Nairobi Expressway. The expressway will be extended from Nairobi to Ruru. The expressway, which will have six lanes, is 25 kilometers long. Phase 2 of the Mombasa Nairobi Expressway is scheduled to cost $1 billion and open in 2026. The second phase of the Mombasa Nairobi Expressway will significantly strengthen the Kenyan economy. It will improve trade with Nairobi, lower transportation costs, and generate employment. Number 5. Lamu Garissa Road. This is a new highway that will link Garissa and Lamu. The 300 km long road will have two lanes constructed. The $300 million Lamu Garissa Road is anticipated to cost and be finished in 2025. The Lamu Garissa Road will have a significant positive impact on Kenya's economy. It will increase the country's connectivity with its neighbors, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. Number 4. Iziolo Mandera Road. Iziolo and Mandera will be connected by this new road. The 300 km long road will have two lanes constructed. The $300 million Iziolo Mandera Road is anticipated to cost and be finished in 2025. The Iziolo Mandera Road will give the Kenyan economy a significant boost. It will increase the country's connectivity with its neighbors, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. Number 3. Mombasa Port Expansion. The goal of this project is to enlarge the Mombasa port. The port will be dredged, new berths will be constructed, and the container terminal will be expanded. In 2028, the Mombasa port expansion is anticipated to cost $3 billion and be finished. The Mombasa port expansion will give the Kenyan economy a significant boost. It will increase trade between the nation and other nations, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. Number 2. Nairobi, Thika Superhighway Phase 2. This is the second stage of the construction of the Nairobi Thika Superhighway. The highway will be extended from Thika to Ruru. The 30 km long highway will have six lanes when it is completed. Phase 2 of the Nairobi Thika Superhighway is scheduled to cost $1 billion and open in 2026. The Nairobi Thika Superhighway Phase 2 will give the Kenyan economy a significant boost. It will improve trade with Nairobi, lower transportation costs, and generate employment. Number 1. Western Kenya Economic Corridor Development of the Western Kenya Economic Corridor is the goal of this project. It will involve developing new agricultural projects, constructing new power plants, and upgrading the road system. It is anticipated that the Western Kenya Economic Corridor will cost $2 billion to build and be finished in 2030. The Western Kenya Economic Corridor will be a major boost for the Kenyan economy. It will boost the nation's transportation infrastructure, bring in foreign investment, and produce jobs. In conclusion, both Uganda and Kenya are making great progress in terms of infrastructure development. It is difficult to say which country is leading, as they are both investing heavily in new projects. However, it is clear that both countries are committed to improving their infrastructure, which will have a positive impact on their economies and their people.